So this video won't be too long, um, but I wanted to just give you guys a quick update about uh, 2024 and what that's going to look like for the channel because I know I have been lacking on content for this year. I mean, at like the second half of the year and I want to try and push out more content, but it's just really, it was just really hard making content when I was in college and I already tried making an update video once um, earlier this week, but I just couldn't get my thoughts out in that video. So I just scrapped that one all together. I decided to re-record it today for New Year's um but yeah just making content on the channel has just been really hard lately um especially with um, my motivation to try and make content and also me since i'm not in college anymore and i gotta try and get a job to sustain myself while i'm trying to um pursue my um pursue trying to become a content creator at the same time um it's just been really hard and um i want to try and i want to do more videos i want to do a lot more videos on my youtube channel because i know a lot of you missed that um it's just it's really hard but i'm working on it right now i'm working on trying to get videos worked on i'm trying to coordinate projects currently right now so i can try and get those done as well um so it's just the sonic official lost dub we haven't worked on the second episode for months i'm sorry about that i'm going i'm getting on to it as soon as i can apologize apologies for that but um yeah right after new year's we're gonna get straight on to that we're gonna work on that um as soon as possible and um and then like uh, just normal videos in general i want i have a lot of video I have, I have some videos that i want to do it's just some of them i'm afraid of doing just because of how because of me being afraid that they're gonna bomb on the algorithm because the youtube algorithm i already did a whole i already did a whole 20 minute video update video this year on like the algorithm being stupid and the algorithm just not recommending content that deserves to be recommended and um honestly I, that's just also kind of my what gives me my lack of motivation it's just I, I worry about the algorithm um i worry about youtube not wanting to recommend my content because of how small i am or because of how irrelevant it is and because of them wanting me to upload every single day it's just being a youtuber is hard um it's just it's really hard trying to upload videos um when youtube expects you to do it every day and expects you to be relevant to your your topic when you want when sometimes you may want to drift to other things it's really really hard to make videos on youtube and it's not because of like it's just the lack of motiv the lack of motivation is just because of youtube itself in a nutshell and honestly i don't know if the platform is going to get any better in the years to come i really hope it does but for right now i am wanting to do a lot more twitch exclusive streams what the reason for this is because um, I am really, really close to getting Twitch affiliate. I have been for uh, a month, about like a month and a half now. So I want to try and prioritize Twitch streams as much as I can throughout um, next year. Um, so I will be still doing YouTube streams. So don't worry, YouTube streams. But if I do YouTube streams, they're going to be planned. They're going to be coordinated because I want to do, I want to do unique things. Excuse me. On my, um, on my Twitch, on my Twitch channel, because actually no, <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I want to do unique things on my my YouTube streams. I want to try and make sure they're coordinated and planned, not just random streams. On Twitch, I wouldn't mind doing like just random streams out of nowhere, just doing, all right, let's do this every night. Let's do this, whatnot, um, daily. On YouTube, if I stream on YouTube in 2024, I want to make those intentional and meaningful. And I don't want to bloat your guys' notifications on YouTube either, because honestly, I don't like it when other content creators do that to my feed. So honestly, and I also want to try and focus on uh, long form content more as well. Because um, I just feel like the the like attention spans nowadays um, have gotten worse, probably like around since like um, 2020. Um, I think we all know why. Um, but um, it just it just um, yeah, it just seems it just seems like it gets harder and harder every day to work on long form content because of the fact that YouTube wants to try and prioritize um, short form content um, as much as possible for those with shorter attention spans. I know most of my audience is like younger, younger, um, younger viewers, and I, I, to I totally um, can work with that when the, with the algorithm. It's just the algorithm doesn't seem like it's working enough with me and other content creators. Like there are many content creators out there that I know who have had, um, I don't know them. I just, I, just, I watch them, but um, they just seem like they haven't posted a lot in in, in the 2023. And YouTube just doesn't want to recommend their content, even though they have higher sub counts. So that just begs, begs me the question of like, YouTube did what? Does YouTube really expect you to put all your time and all your efforts into just your YouTube channel? Because if so, I don't think that's possible, my guy. I mean, like literally, there like I feel like the algorithm is like YouTube and its algorithm needs to realize that um, not everyone has all the time in the world to upload videos. 
Some of those who are, who are fortunate enough do have that time, but they also have other projects to work on as well. But for those, for people like me, I have my own personal life. I have to get my own stuff done in my own time. I don't have all the time to focus on just this. I would love to have all the time in the world to work on just this because I, I, I would probably be at a bigger place right now. But I don't have all that time. I'm not that fortunate yet to have all the time to edit videos, um, record videos, and stream all the time. I wish I did. I probably have the, all, like a lot of time to stream, but those streams will probably be on Twitch. If I ever stream on YouTube in 2024, I want to try from now on to focus on making them intentional and coordinated and planned. Those probably those word those three words probably mean the same exact thing. I probably just said the same exact thing three times, but you know what? It doesn't matter. But I want to try and make sure that the streams are intentional on YouTube. I want to make sure that they they have meaning to them. I don't want them to just be out of nowhere. If I do Smash streams, I want to make sure that they're coordinated, planned. And I want to make sure that they have like a theme behind them. Because if you know, you guys see my streams of I had no choice but to play Smash. That series does extremely well on my channel. Everyone loves this, the, the, um, can you put the abbreviation on the, on the screen right now? Okay, that's the abbreviation. <laughs> but, um, yeah, people love those streams. I would love to do more Smash streams on, in the future. But I want to make sure the co they're coordinated and that they're they're meaningful. I don't want to just throw them out of nowhere. Because as you, if you guys have noticed on my YouTube channel, I've been reusing the same Smash thumbnail for like a lot of my Smash streams, and I don't want that. I want to make sure I have different different looking thumbnails. I want to have thumbnails that have different themes, different meanings to them, just because that th thumbnails that represent the stream in, in itself. So I want to try and do more streams in the future of Smash. But if I do Smash streams, don't expect a lot of them unless on, Tw like, on Twitch, though. As for Twitch, though, I will say this. As for Twitch, expect a lot more random streams. I would love to do a lot more streaming, like, maybe, like, every other day um, next throughout 2024. I would love that. And I know in 2024, I'm hoping there's not going to be much Sonic news in, like, the first half. Because I know in the second half, actually, no, next month we're getting, like, Sonic Prime season three so i'm gonna have my hands full with editing, editing a reaction and a review video on that so um keep your eyes out for that because i did it for season two but yeah for the second half i know we're gonna be busy have our hands full with um like actually no february i keep forgetting we have the knuckles show there's a lot i hope there's some time in 2024 where there isn't gonna be any song listen it's not that i don't want sonic news it's just we've been eating too good we need we need a little we need a, we need to tone it down a little bit on the song news in my opinion because Right now we have just way we've had way too much this year. We've had Sonic Frontiers: The Final Horizon, Sonic Origins Plus, Sonic Superstars. But um, yeah, it just seems like I I really want to try and focus more on um trying to push out on um, videos um more than I want to try and equally push out streams and videos. It's just gonna take a lot of effort and some time as well. And I gotta hold myself up as well, considering the fact that I gotta pay my own bills now. So it's it's just it's gonna be a it's gonna be a bit hard trying to um focus more on YouTube while also trying to focus on my personal life now that I'm not in college anymore. So um I just need you guys to bear I just ask that you guys do bear with me throughout 2024 as I try to get back into the swing of things of uh, making content. And I and there's one other thing that I've noticed myself when it comes to making content this year. I feel like I've been trying to, I feel like I don't realize the identity of my channel because early, like, uh, like I think it was earlier this week or last week, I was just browsing through my videos on YouTube studio. And I was just, I like, as I was trying to work on my Sonic Frontiers review, which I have scrapped now at this point, And, um, even my Sonic, Sonic Dream Team review, which I've also scrapped at this point. I apologize. I'm so sorry, but hold on. Like, hear me out. Hear me out. It's because I feel like the algorithm doesn't want me making those kinds of videos and i don't think it's, those are the kind of videos that i want to make either the reason for that is every time i watch one of my videos where i do like challenges with friends or whenever i do like remember whenever like the one time i played sonic games with the wii remote or like um even like just reaction videos i feel like those kind of videos are more like are more videos that i enjoy making personally than um doing something that i don't enjoy making because if I if I'm making something that I don't enjoy making, then what's the point in doing it? So I want to focus more on those kinds of videos that I have been making instead of trying to make videos that I just don't make. I don't want to try and be someone that I'm not. I don't want to try and not 
be my personality, if that makes sense. So, um, that's what I want to try and focus on throughout 2024 more is that I want to try and make videos that I would enjoy making, not videos that I wouldn't make. And I want to try and be my, I want to try and make my own personality, my own identity on YouTube as well. I don't want to try and be like, try and copy someone else's videos. I want to try and be my own identity on YouTube. So, because I think that's the problem I've had throughout um, 2023 is like, I've lost my identity when it comes to YouTube. So, um, that's what I want to try and focus on improving on, um, throughout next year. Now, as for, um, s like trips and stuff, I am really, like, I know Sonic Symphony has like come up with like, uh, new tour dates for like New York and stuff. I want, I do want to try and go to Japan at some point. That's going to have to be like either next year or like the year after next year, because, um, reasons being, um, New York costs a lot of money. Japan costs even more money to go to. So, um, <laughs> yeah, Japan's... J J <coughs> Excuse me. Japan's like a $5,000 to $10,000 trip, honestly. And then New York's a little cheap, like, not, mu not, ch not much cheaper. But, um, yeah, if I decide to go e either or, um, those are going to be like the biggest videos. Um, New York will probably be around June. That's when the song Symphony in New York is. Um, so you can see a video for that if I decide to go. I don't know yet. I don't know if that's happening. But um, Japan, as for Japan, you could like if I ever go to Japan like next year or in 2025, you can expect a video series on that as well. If I do like if I do big trips, that's why I also want to try and do since I now have a lot of like free time. Well, besides a job and stuff, but free time as in like stuff like free time, like time off of work of like me going on these insane trips and me doing like crazy things. Now that's gonna be a look now as for like crazy streams where I buy a bunch of stuff Those are gonna be a little bit more limited um, Considering the fact that now I'm out of college. I have to worry about my own bills every month now I have to worry about like thing like different things. I got pay off it, It's it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit It's gonna be a bit strange for a bit for me to get back in the swing of things. I hope you guys do bear with me I just want to make this video to update you guys on what's happening and I hope you guys do stick around throughout 2024 I do have some big projects in the work. It's just it's taken me a bit I sincerely apologize for not getting these videos some of my um, projects out in time um, But I promise throughout 2024 I'm gonna do my best to push out content on time and to deliver um, on What you guys subscribe for so thank you guys so much for watching the video and Here's to a great year in 2024 Peace out everybody